Well, it's not far down to paradise At least it's not for me If the wind is right, you can sail fly Flying FPV Oh, this camera can do miracles Just you wait and see Believe me John here guys and today we are talking about the happy model sail fly so is this the fail fly this is happy models latest controversial <laughs> release that is depending on your viewpoints blessing or plaguing our beloved fpv community now I, when this thing was first announced, I actually initially said that I was gonna boycott this on my channel. And the reason for that is that Kebab was working with Happy Model um, on some of his early toothpick designs, potential electronics options, developing a solution. And he had texts going back and forth with the owner where he said, Please don't seal my designs. They agreed that they wouldn't. And then this uh, came out in pictures shortly after that was very, very close to his original recipe. Um, so I said I wasn't going to touch it at all, but then Kebab reviewed it on his channel. So I guess all, all bets are off and it's clear to check it out. So... What do I think about it? Well, spoiler alert, guys, it flies well. It flies very well. It comes with a bunch of little accessories. It comes with a bag of stuff. It's got an extra purple pod in there, some props, a little screwdriver, um, all this stuff right there. It comes with a 3S battery. Now, I have not flown this battery, and I don't plan to. And here's the reason why for that. This crazy B F4 version two that is in this board is notorious for going up in flames. It is extremely um, hit or miss. Sometimes you get a good one, sometimes you get a bad one. You can use the same exact components on two builds. One will fly great, one will go up in flames on your second pack. Um, and because of this, I really don't advise that you fly 3S on your cell fly if you want it to last. When I was growing up, this was all the protection we needed. You win some, you lose some. But you live, you live to fight another day. Now, a couple things that they have done to prevent this is they have started installing this little capacitor on the pigtail, which is a welcome addition and should add some safety, but I think that this thing flies good enough on 2S to where you can have all of your toothpick class jollies without having to resort to this monstrous 3S battery. I'm going to save this for another build. Um, so let's get to the build itself. It has the crazy BF2 board, like I said. It has the happy model 1102 motors. This is the same motor that I had on my Gnarly Primo, but that was a 10,000 kV version. This one's slightly tuned down at 8,500 kV. Now I expected this to fly much slower and it does fly a little bit slower, but not significantly. That means that basically you'd really probably don't need 10,000 kV. 8,500 on 2S probably is gonna keep you a little safer, a little longer. And my Gnarly Primo, I did burn the five volt regulator on that same exact board in here, same exact motors. I burned it trying to turtle motor in a crash or in the crash itself. Uh, I got a little uh, five volt regulator that I can install and get that thing back up and running. It was only like five bucks. So I'll do that pretty soon. But this has been a pretty good substitute. Now this has a VTX camera combo that's installed in here at the front of this canopy. This only goes to 25 milliwatt, I believe. So it's not gonna be as good as like my Gnarly Primo. This camera, the image is okay, but I really don't like the field of view for this size craft. It makes it seem like you're flying way faster than you actually are. 
this is probably slightly slower than my gnarly primo but when i'm flying it it feels faster it feels like you're going like eight billion miles an hour um, and you really have to be quick on the sticks to control this. Now this is a D8 built-in receiver, so you have the same range issues that you always have with the built-in Fry Sky. You could have some room in there to add your own like XM receiver in there. The image is okay, but this receiver is such garbage, you're gonna start getting telemetry warnings far um, sooner than you'll actually lose image on this only 25 milliwatt VTX. Now let's get to the bats. One, this canopy is 3D printed TPU and it basically has the consistency, the print quality of mashed potatoes. It is disgustingly terrible. The design, the quality of this print, you have little, you know, <laughs> print uh, things that are just like hanging off little um, things that were not cleaned up. Like I'm, I consider myself to still be a novice 3D printer, but these prints are horrible even by my standards. I can't believe that they're selling something that is this just terrible. This is just garbage. The frame is a terrible design. It's like one millimeter thick. People are cracking this frame so frequently um, and we all know the, this is what, the fifth or sixth Happy Model release that has been plagued with problems that should have been caught in testing. I made the Happy Model, we're not happy video where I called out the company for at that time, three releases in a row where they put out um, products with significant flaws. This is probably the fifth or the sixth. The Happy Model Mobula HD was also burning boards left and right. And the Mobula 7 had frame issues on that whoop style frame. This one seems to be no better. Um, I haven't managed to crack it yet, but if you land on concrete or even a hard enough um, crash on grass, this thing is gonna crumble. Even at the light weight, uh, these arms are so spindly um, it, the cracking point is pretty much right there. I've seen so many pictures of people cracking their frames right here. Now, why is that an issue? People are gonna point out, hey, this is FPV. We're used to tweaking, fixing, repairing, blah, 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 blah. Well, it's an issue because this is the kind of craft that you would like to recommend to a beginner. It flies well. Happy Model seems to have a knack for knowing what the community wants in terms of flight feel, but they rush these products to market. They cut corners. They, uh, and so it's like for somebody that's experienced and has a budget and can buy some spares, it's not a big deal, but we want to get this in the hands of newcomers. What's the best toothpick class to suggest to somebody? This is a good price, like 85, 90 bucks. But when they're gonna have all these issues, can we really recommend it to new people? Oh man, happy model. Um, you're really disappointing me and uh, in a lot of ways, but at the end of the day, it flies great. Uh, if you're crash prone, if you don't wanna fix spares, don't get this, but if you want something that flies exceptionally well, uh, even on 2S, I, which I recommend to be safe, it's, it's good guys. The camera's garbage. Um, so really what I would recommend was try to get one of these on sale for 70, 75 bucks. Spend yourself 16, 17 bucks on a gnarly Primo frame, swap it over. Um, spend another 15 or 20 bucks on a new camera VTX combo. Put in another receiver. And now you'll have a really great flying quadcopter that is a little bit more robust. That's really my recommendation. You can fly it as is just fine. The props that it come with are pretty much garbage. Um, they look very similar to the King Kong props, but they actually just break. I've never seen a, a prop of this size just crack in half like that since the very early days of FPV. So I recommend getting the Hyperlite, uh, Pyroflip, who cares props. The, these gray ones are supposedly not as good as the blue and orange, but a lot of people are having more luck with these. So I haven't tried the blue and orange ones yet, but I recommend these, they do fly great. They're very robust and resilient. They can take some hits. So regardless of what Mr. Burns will tell you, 
because he'll tell you everything by a happy model is great without any flaws. This is not perfect. And I hate that they keep doing this to our community. So if you want something cheap that flies good, go ahead and get one. Um, just know what you're getting yourself into. The frame is gonna crack, the canopy is garbage, but at least it does come with a spare. Canopy, not frame. And let's get to the flight footage. It does fly good, guys, very good. Happy model. How do they get it so right on the flight field and so wrong on trying to take advantage of us? What are we gonna do, guys? Do we keep buying these? Do we boycott them as a group? Do we just encourage them to get better and start holding themselves to better manufacturing standards? I don't know, what's the answer? Post what you think in the comments. Thanks, guys. Thank you.